<laughs> what is up guys welcome back to the channel nasty foodie fitness here happy sunday i'm currently recording this video on the day that i am actually uploading this video hey it's nice to be here in real time but it also means these things are getting really real right now okay two weeks <laughs> it's literally two weeks today i would be in the middle of the Ironman World Championships. Would I be running at this point? You'll be running. So at this point, oh my God, at this very moment, I will be, touch wood, touch everything, touch the like button on this video, I will be on the running leg of the Ironman World Championships. I'll be running the marathon after swimming and cycling. Because it's getting so close, I'm now starting to get that that slight feeling in my stomach when I think about it because it's getting so close. Today's video is full day of eating and training. I just had an intro debt. And as a result of not introing it, we are currently wearing the Team Nutty merch. And Grant, tell the yeah. people. We've got a Team Nutty restock for the next couple of weeks leading up to Steph's race. We've got 10% discount code. I don't know if that's gonna be back to front on camera. Nutty 10. Nutty 10. Yep. I will put it here on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, link will be down below. So yeah, guys, if you are not part of the Team Nutty squad. Yeah, we're not gonna take ours off until the race is done now. <laughs> Imagine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear mine to bed. I'm gonna swim in mine. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Very exciting. It's all Grant's doing to have a, a little 10% discount, so love that in advance if you do happen to purchase a team nutty cap really appreciate it oh. always so cool seeing people yeah, wearing take, it take more photos <laughs> and tag us in them get your selfies in tag me and i can repost follow on instagram as well if you are not following my instagram nutty foodie fitness because i sometimes do wonder like how many people watch me on youtube that don't follow me on instagram and vice versa i do wonder anyway Enough of me jibber jabbering, let's get straight into the video where I'm completely silent in the morning because I don't want to wake Grant up. <laughs> Standard. about to start getting ready for today's training session which is a one hour and one minute threshold development bike session one minute at 110 percent of my ftp two minutes at 100 percent of my ftp with three minute recovery in between six times gonna basically look like this if that helps you can see, so that's the warm up. It's kind of like the equivalent of doing strides when you're running, um, but on the bike. So those are the rev ups. And then one minute at 110% of my FTP, and then two minutes at 100%. That's going to be quite hard, I think. It's not like we've got that many sessions left. This is the last week of high intensity stuff. So, yeah. And it's absolutely pouring outside. So uh, we will be doing this in the garage. I'm going to try and wear a long sleeve and keep it on just so that I can try and help myself um, when it comes to cycling in Nice and it's 30 degrees. I did check yesterday and it's still currently 30 plus degrees in Nice. So there's that. <laughs> also, first world triathlete problems. There is 15 minutes left on this wash and I've pretty much got six face towels in there from the amount I sweat on, on the bike. So. Probably gonna have to just resort to using t-shirts as towels. <laughs> I've got one towel. The previous Zwift session I did, I kid you not, I used four towels and I changed my top three times. Like the sweating was just so excessive. And this is, as you can see, these are all empty wrappers from my previous turbo session. You must always remember the fourth discipline in triathlon is nutrition. Like there is no way you will come out alive of um, triathlon training if you're not fueling. Who is calling me? 
No, now is not the time. I also have a t-shirt down there on purpose because I mentioned this on my story the other day, but I sweat so much more on my left side and I think it's because I have my Garmin on my left wrist. Whereas on my right, I've got my Whoop. The material absorbs all of the sweat. <laughs> Loading up the drink for my session. I also don't really know where I'm gonna put you in this session. So people always ask me about my setup. This is the bike that I use outside and inside. It's currently on the turbo. And then I just hook up my laptop to my TV and I use Zwift, which is like the indoor cycling. Oh yeah, also, if you watched my previous vlog in Nice, you know I was talking about having issues with my cycling shoes. I now do actually have a wide fit. So far, I have only done one session in these new shoes but it definitely feels a lot more roomy the others were definitely a lot more narrow so i hope that this has sorted the issues but it's very hard to say from just one turbo session as i said i did really love the other shoes so if this does stop me having blisters then it's the best outcome because i really didn't want to get rid of the other shoes because they're just so look how nice they are well, <laughs> as nice as a cycling shoe can be, they are really nice. Um, also, I know I've said I was gonna wear a long sleeve. Every single thing that I need for this turbo session is in the washing machine that has literally just now finished, but I don't have enough time for it to, for it to dry. The only thing that I now need to do is just pair my heart rate paired. This is today's session. We've got six bits of hard. I do actually think this is gonna be a pretty challenging session. I don't know where I'm gonna put you because look, once I get on the bike, can't really see me. <laughs> I'm limited for options when I'm on, on the bike and the lighting is also pretty shite. <laughs> don't know what else to tell you guys. This is where I'm going to be for the next one hour and one minute and it's 2.5 out of five effort. That is shit. <laughs> anyway, my hair is now going up in a bun. I'm just gonna crack on. I'm just gonna show you the contrast between me right now and me once I'm done. You'll see, <laughs> I'll be an absolute mess. I am 11 minutes into this session. Next level boiling and we're on the warm up. Every session starts with me questioning how the heck I'm gonna make it to the end of the session. But every time, we find a way and this will be no different but it's damn hard the rev up is coming i feel like it really adds another level of insanity when you don't have a fan but i'm not here trying to take shortcuts i'm trying to make it easier for myself in Nice, hence why I'm doing this. You gotta sometimes think about the bigger picture rather than short term having a fan and feeling better. Okay, I've got two minutes left on the warm up and then we're going straight into the efforts. I'm literally only 16 minutes into this and I'm a sweaty mess. Okay, five seconds until the first interval, which is always the worst for me. One more minute. Oh. That was horrendous. My heart rate got to 160. And we've got five more. Five more. Also, really annoying. My battery just died. I apparently had full battery at the start. My camera was lying. But as I said, first interval always feels the worst. 
always. Anyway, pray for me, guys. Pray for me. I don't know why Flash is on. I don't think it's going to do anything for me right now. Interval two done. I am, as you can see, sweating profusely. I can say it was marginally, marginally easier than the first one. Three down, three to go. Absolutely soaked. Final one, final one. We've got this. It's done. Guys, it's done. Wow. Wow. I feel like there's a race going on. Suddenly there's so many people everywhere. Um, we are done. See? We're now on the cool down. Thanks for all the ride-ons, guys. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. That was bloody tough. And then the hardest bit about it was just how hot I am. It's really difficult not doing this with a fan, but as I said, it's to help me out a little bit. Just a little bit in these. Four seconds to go. And we are done. 32 foot UK. It's really not pretty. It's so wet. Even my phone is dripping. Can you see that? I'm using a bike to hold you up. It's just disgusting. This t-shirt should not be heavy. There's a cardboard box underneath. Do you see what I mean? I think this is all the proof that we need that I really did work hard in that session. But um, I'm glad that session is over. I've got one more session today, which is an easy 45 minute plyometric session. I have not been doing that much strength training, but 45 minute sessions are better than no minute sessions. So I'm doing better than <laughs> I did last year. I'm gonna have a shower. I have showered, I have been on two calls, and I have also eaten some granola, which I didn't film because I was waiting for the camera, the battery to charge. I don't know how it's possible, but I have about five batteries for my camera, and I can't locate a single one other than the one that I'm using. Like, they must all be together somewhere, but that somewhere, I don't know where. What have I done? And it's also with my GoPro, which leads me on to the other issue of the day, because I wanted to take you to the gym to film that plyo session that I have, because it's a little bit different. Well, it's very different to what used to be my normal training at the gym. It's more like body weight stuff rather than machines, which is what I used to do. Anyway, in the meantime, we are going to prepare some lunch for lunch. I have some giant wraps. You're gonna see that the theme is giant, okay? I, basically, I went to Costco yesterday and I thought it would be a great idea for me to buy <laughs> a ginormous Greek salad. I can't really show you without everything falling out, but it's got cubes of uh, feta cheese as well as olives, tomatoes, onion, and then two of these pots of dressing. So I have the giant salad here, and then I, I definitely do have an entire rotisserie chicken. I think that's gonna be a fantastic lunch. I'm gonna get these wraps prepared, and I'm gonna also add in some Nando's chili sauce. Let me know what you have had for lunch today or what you're having. That's how you know it's a good size wrap when it literally fits perfectly on the plate. Oh, and then I must show you, I also bought a giant box of cronuts from Costco. Because if you've not been to Costco, Costco basically sells everything in bulk. Like if you go to Costco, you're, bu you're buying for a, a large family, even though there's literally only Grant and I here, but... <laughs> The hunger these days, that's just what we have to do. So for instance, Grant went to Costco the other day and he, he said like, is there anything you want me to pick up? And I just said, wouldn't mind a tropical juice. He came back with 
12, 12 cartons of tropical juice. And I mean, to be fair, there's only three left. So also do recommend, they are very good. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even want to talk to you about the amount of cans of Monster and Fanta that Grant got. But feel free to judge in the comment section down below. So this is how the first wrap is looking. It's obviously going to end up overflowing, but that's okay. I'm going to put some of this um, Caesar dressing over it. And then with the chicken, on the chicken side will go chili jam. It's really quite good. Also, side note, I had to take off my whoop temporarily because the strap was absolutely soaked. And just on whoop, can we talk about how good my recovery is at the moment? Which is absolute madness given like this is peak intensity week and last week was peak volume. So I'm very happy about that. Anyway, um, I get really distracted. Hence why Grant thinks I have ADHD. Wow, that's really quite heavy. <laughs> wow. I always do this, don't I? Over stuff. When will I learn? Like, when will I learn? Okay, there's olives falling out. There's tomato falling out. I'll give you a taste test of this one. Cheers. That is really quite delightful. That is sensational. That was me just taste testing it to know whether I need to make any adjustments. The only adjustment that I think I will make more chili jam. The cronuts I was telling you about from Costco. I do think the white is the best. We got an assorted box. White chocolate, standard, and then plain. It's good. Not the best cronuts I've ever eaten though in my life. I will, however, say that I think donuts are superior to cronuts. Cronuts, great concept, but actually the execution of a donut is better in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Guys, all I can do is apologize because it's just so busy in there. Because other people are going to be in the shot. That was 50 minutes in total. Took me slightly longer because I actually was trying to set up the camera, but I couldn't. <laughs> Guys, I'm back from the gym. I have showered again. <laughs> Story of my life. All my time is spent training, eating and showering. And on that note, I am currently having some strawberries. And I've also got a my protein wafer. One thing about me is I will never waste half a strawberry, okay? This is the way you eat strawberries, okay? You don't need to cut half of the strawberry to get rid of the green bit. I know I've said this many times on my YouTube, but I am convinced that at least half of the population wastes strawberries. See? See how easy that is? Guys, I do really want to apologise for the fact that I didn't manage to vlog anything. So I'm just going to talk you through what I actually did, which might be a bit boring, but if you want to know what a plyometric session is, five minutes of like warming up. I did walk to the gym and that took a good maybe 13 minutes. So that's my warm up. Then I did some leg, single leg toe touches, some single leg glute raises, two times 30 seconds of dead hangs. Then the main session is weighted Bulgarian split squats, which I hate but I did them. Wait, did I? Oh no. I didn't even do it on purpose. I saw that I had weighted Bulgarian split squats and I thought to myself, that is such a horrendous exercise to begin with. And therefore I thought I'll do them as the second exercise. The second exercise was bench step ups, which I did do, but I forgot to do the Bulgarian split squats. <laughs> They're such good exercise, but I can't stand them. Although, Comment down below, what is the number one worst exercise in your opinion? I think without a doubt it's burpees, without a doubt. That's why I won't sign up to a high rocks because you've got to do burpees. But Bulgarian split squats is definitely on that list because they're hideous. Um, I did some RDLs, some single leg calf raises, 
some um, shoulder press, lat pull down, front raises. I did some hanging knee raises because I genuinely can't do hanging leg raises. Even though I have pretty visible solid abs, I physically can't. If you said to me, Steph, do a, a leg raise and I will give you a million pounds, I would walk away without the million pounds because I genuinely cannot do a leg raise. So I, I do knee raises instead. These are my legs and my, my knees are just going up because I can't do that. I just can't do it. And then I did some weighted dead bugs. I had to watch a YouTube tutorial about four times before I understood what I was meant to be doing. And some cable rotations. So that was my session. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Um, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed in my lack of footage. But if you're interested in getting um, chocolate wafers, <laughs> use code NUTTY. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of editing of this YouTube video, which you don't really need to see. But between you and I, I think that tonight I should take Grant out for dinner just because he's not having the best day to day at work. And so when he gets back, I'm gonna suggest going out for dinner and see what he says. Yeah, let's see. Wouldn't mind like a tie. A basic Nando's is always hits the spot. We'll see. I'm also snacking on these um, cashew nuts that have lasted approximately three days. I'm the only one that eats them. Life is complete again. Grant is home from work. Hola. Where have you decided for us to go for dinner? Basic Nando's. Basic Nando's. Yeah. I did, I did think that that's what you were going to opt for, but I left it completely up to you. Can't go wrong. No, you can't. You haven't been in the vlogs in a long time. Do you want to give them a life update? I haven't really did anything for seven. I sprained my ankle. Oh, yeah. They no, they don't know that. So I sprained my ankle wakeboarding seven weeks ago and it's still not better. Yeah. So really, I've just been eating and sitting. Yeah, because they've actually been asking on progress on how your 70.3 planning yeah, is that's, going. That's, that's, <laughs> it's not. That's on hold. Yeah, that's on hold. <laughs> but please send Grant all the well wishes so that he is back in action and able to sprint um, to capture content in these. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, obviously the most important thing. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, we got a halloumi to start, but I've got to just say, Nando's need to take note of the cafe that we went to. I'm gonna, cafe. I'm gonna put a photo here of the side of halloumi that I got yeah. a couple of days ago. Cheers. Why have you got more than me? I haven't. It's, an, have. it's an illusion. No, you have. No, it's an illusion. Guys, yeah, he's got more. Those yeah, you've top got it wrong. <laughs> Yours is way bigger. Great France Nando's order. I call this yeah. the, the beige dish. What double have you carbs. got, Gon? We've gone double carbs, we've gone curry salted fries. Yeah. Curry mac not curry. <laughs> mac and cheese. Yeah. And chicken thighs. These ones look a bit sad. Yeah, a little bit sad. A bit done. And then I've gone for the Wow. That's the butterfly burger. The butterfly. I'm so hungry I can't even speak. She's they got took the so burger, long. Cold slaw, curry salted fries. Garlic caronades. Boom. 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 Quality control. Yeah. Size. Good size. Solid. Solid. Hefty. You say it's a hefty burger. Hefty, yeah, it is. It is. Not the easiest thing to eat. What comes after Nando's? What comes after Nando's, guys? Can you drum roll for me because I don't have hands? McFlurry! <laughs> Smarties McFlurry always. Yeah, copyright. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, I feel like they haven't skimped as much as the last time on the McFlurry on the Smarties. A bit more generous. A little bit more generous. Just yeah. having a look at yours. Yeah, I think I've got the right one. <laughs> Yep. Great footage. <laughs> if Grant and I have not won anything in the McDonald's Monopoly, then you must, you absolutely have to like and subscribe and comment on this video. What if we don't win anything? Yeah. What if we do win something? 
I just don't think we will. Oh. So I'm hoping that that's Very the... Very negative thinking. Here goes. <laughs> Thing is, I do tend to win. Well, back in the day when I used to go to McDonald's like seven times a week. No. Nothing. I swear back in the day, I would win every single time. It would be an apple pie or a milkshake. Yeah. You always get an apple yeah, pie. Yeah, and I milkshake. used to always get an apple pie and I always used to get a milkshake. Yeah. So maybe that's why. Guys, this means that you have to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>